coming in. Now, Canada has also joined the list of countries imposing COVID rules on China arrivals and the curbs will be effective from 5th of January. So, remember, there has been a massive surge in COVID cases in China and amid the massive surge, now Canada has also joined the list of countries imposing COVID rules on China arrivals. Earlier, India had also imposed similar rule on China arrivals and now Canada has also joined the list of countries imposing COVID rules on China arrivals and the curbs will be effective from 5th of January. So remember, there has been a massive surge in cases in China and there have been pictures and visuals and videos where we have seen that the mortuaries are overburdened, the hospitals are overburdened and there are heaps of uh, corpses lying in mortuaries and uh, some people have also claimed that the funerals are taking place 24-7 in the country. But of course, China is downplaying. Uh, the figures and not revealing the real figures of death and the current active COVID cases in the country. And now amid all this, Canada has also joined the list of countries imposing COVID rules on China arrivals. And these curbs will be effective from 5th of January. Now remember, similar rules are there uh, in India as well. The people coming from China have to present a negative COVID report before uh, arrival and they have to upload it on uh, Air Suvida portal and now Canada has also imposed uh, COVID rules on China arrivals to contain the spread of the virus amid this massive surge in China and the, these curbs will be effective from 5th of January. Now, as the threat of COVID-19 looms over India, the Union Health Ministry has made RT-PCR test results mandatory for the travellers from China, Hong Kong, Japan, South Korea, Singapore and Thailand. Now, the flyers need to upload their COVID-negative test reports on the Air Suvida portal before travel. This requirement is in addition to the random 2% testing of all international passengers in all incoming international flights on their arrival in India irrespective of their port of departure. Meanwhile, Principal Secretary to Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meeting with top officials to ensure preparedness and effective COVID management. So as the threat of COVID-19 is looming over India, the Union Health Ministry has now issued some fresh guidelines and made RT-PCR test results mandatory to the, for the travellers from China, Hong Kong, Japan, South Korea, Singapore and Thailand. Now all this comes amid a massive surge in China where uh, there have China has been downplay, downplaying the cases but we have seen visuals which clearly shows that there has the situation is has been worsening in China our correspondent Yash is joining us to give us more details on this Yash can you give us more details on this new guideline issued by the government uh, well Anjali these guidelines was actually issued uh, earlier this month uh, uh, when the government found out that, that there were increasing cases of COVID in countries like China and neighboring countries. Uh, and in fact, uh, now from today onwards, uh, these guidelines will be in place. And in fact, people coming in from countries like China, Hong Kong, uh, Japan have to go under a mandatory RT-PCR test upon arrival at all the international airports uh, inside uh, the geographical boundaries of India. And in fact, uh, if we're talking about the numbers, uh, yesterday, with the Saturday, like India reported around 226 new COVID cases. Uh, so the health ministry is keeping a watch on this entire situation. And right now, also today, also we heard from the Chinese president Xi Jinping um, actually addressing the general public in China uh, on the occasion of New Year and bringing out this entire issue of uh, rising COVID cases in his speech also. So the government uh, is actually on alert and they don't want to, uh, they don't want any such situation to arise in the future uh, that uh, could actually lead to some sort of uh, uh, a larger outbreak of this COVID-19 pandemic yet again. So the, the entire situation, the an entire uh, process which the government is following, they are actually uh, testing, tracing, tracking and then vaccinating the person. So these are the mantras which the government is looking at and all the guidelines, all these guidelines uh, which the government has announced are now in place from uh, this uh, very day. All right, Yash, thank you for giving us all those details.